We have support all around us. People impacted most by David Sweat and Richard Matt's escape say they'll always remember the two convicts as men who completely turned their worlds upside down. It was absolutely terrifying. It was the first time a gun came up out of our basement in 35 years. That's the part that gets me is he, he ruined some other people's life, innocent people. At this time, Mr. Sweat is that prepared to take responsibility for his actions. For many, Sweat's guilty plea came as no surprise. No, I'm not surprised. I mean, I think really the bottom line is this whole thing is really tragic. He is guilty. How do I feel about it? Mm -hmm. He deserves it. But one thing Clinton County residents are torn on is the possibility of him having to pay restitution. With Sweat already serving a life sentence without parole for murdering a sheriff's deputy, Saranac resident Anthony Facto wonders how the convicts will come up with the funds he would need. For me, it's the taxpayers that are that paid that are going to pay. Deborah Carter doesn't think the money will necessarily make up for what the North Country went through after the escape. Money is not going to cover what happened, but of course, you know, whatever he's. Able to pay back? Absolutely. You know, absolutely. Regardless, Facto says he's ready to put it all behind him and move on. 